Good morning. So, tonight there's actually a car meet that I'm going to be going to. It's in Vaughan. I've been meaning to go to a few for a while just to get some more exposure for Road Syndicate and uh, having this car is a good opportunity. So that'll be cool. I'm going to go to that tonight and I'll probably do a lot of filming there so I don't know if there'll be a lot of filming during the day. We'll see. We will see. Right now, I'm actually just quickly throwing together uh, business cards, and I'm going to go get them printed. Just really simple. Throw those together, go and get them done, and we'll go on to the next thing. Alright, let's go. Okay, so just drop those uh, cards off. They said they can get them printed today and they close at 6, so hopefully they can. So it would really suck if they didn't. And yeah, I just like banged off a really quick design there and dropped it off, so it's nothing special. Nice and simple, like it, the way I like things. And now I am at harvest again. I gotta do something quick, but I can't stick around because I got some other small things I gotta do. And it's really hot in this car, so I gotta go. Simple, quick design, 20 bucks. Oh man, these look so good. Passing out a bunch of these tonight. That worked out. Back again, and we're off to uh, Vaughn to go to a car meet. Looks pretty cool. Every Tuesday, I've been meaning to go, and we're looking good. It's probably a good car to bring. Should be fun. Yeah, should be. Fun. Yeah, with the hand. <laughs> with the Hulk. Please. That was funny. So far, we're right behind the food truck. So, uh, it's kind of overwhelming right now. It's pretty sweet, it's man. It's sweet. Talked to a guy who knows like so much about this car. And showed me some crazy tricks with it. Awesome. Getting some good contacts too. I like that girl's Mustang, that's for sure. You like the girl who's in that Mustang? Yeah, that's pretty much what I said. Alright. 
That was fun. That was pretty awesome. Fast was... and the Furious style. Paul was... Walker, I wanted to steal some DVDs. I wanted to find Vin Diesel and we could have stole DVDs tonight. DVD players. So, yeah. <laughs> Just a lot going on, so I didn't really know what to film, but we talked to a lot of people and gave out a bunch of cards and found some good contacts, right? Yeah. Kids love this car. Everyone loves this car. It's hilarious. Yeah. Okay, let's drive back. I'm tired. A little bit of power, a little bit of fun. Correction, lots of power, lots of fun. A lot of my vlogs end this way, by the way. So, uh, that was really fun. Extremely fun, actually. I haven't been to a lot of car meets. Uh, it was just something I never really did. Like I always had like a tuner car. My daily driver was a Volvo that was turbocharged and had my own fuel management system and everything running in it. But it was just like something I never invested time in. I mean, I'm not like the most social person unless I have to be. So when I'm in those situations, I'm really good, like I, I walk up, talk to anybody, have a good time, but like, I don't generally actively try to do that, because I, like the filming and stuff, you just get distracted. So, today, it was just like, I kind of get a little bit overwhelmed when I walk into situations like that, because I feel like I need to film everything and then I end up filming almost nothing. But tonight we were just talking to a whole bunch of people and handing out cards. So that was a bit of a distraction, but a good distraction, handing out Road Syndicate cards. And uh, yeah, it's just like an overwhelming feeling that I'm not getting enough footage or I'm not sure what I should exactly be doing. So it's hard for me to really enjoy things like that when all I'm thinking about is like, what should I do? What should I be doing at that moment? But I still do enjoy it. It's just, uh, I just get slightly stressed out and think I should be doing more. But you can't really do more, especially when you do something for the first time. Like go out and try to film a meet for the first time. Yeah, like you don't know what to expect. And it was really good. The car got a super good response. Everyone absolutely loved it, actually, because it was like the only thing like it there and uh, met some really cool people and some really good contacts. So like that overwhelming feeling, it comes when single events happen in the vlog because I mean that actually happens every week so I can try it out again next week but it's just that one time, it's like you're putting in this time to go there I've only got this car at this show this one time, what do I do with it? And I end up doing not enough. That, at least how that's how I feel. And that's kind of how it works with a car as well. I mean, I've got these cars for a week. I pick it up Monday morning, and then I keep it for a week, and I film, and I try to film as much as I can, and then I take it back the next Monday. So that means I have to learn about the car, develop some kind of opinion about the car, get some really cool shots. All the while, I have all this other work I need to do, and that's the problem. That's what kind of stresses me out a bit. And I end up doing like a lot of the filming on the weekend, which is fine, and then I realize that I am capable to do that. But every time I pick up a new car, it starts the feeling all over again. It's just like a natural course of progression. And I can't convince myself otherwise that it will be fine. So that's a little insight of my stress levels. I think in the yesterday's video, I, someone asked like that I have a job and I'm doing the two YouTube channels. But then I also mentioned that, yes, I have that job and I'm doing the two YouTube channels. 
but I'm also doing my masters and I've got like a small electronics business that I haven't been doing too much with and I do things with electronics and then I've got my photography and the vlog yeah one YouTube so like after listing all those out you know it's like oh uh, yeah obviously I'm tired but you just gotta keep going you gotta keep moving and you know that you're gonna get sleep eventually and you can't give in to things like not posting a vlog like I might eventually which would be fine but I'll probably never not post one I'll just end up delaying one and then like putting two like I've done so that's my last minute rant here great time with Nate and I'll probably be going to more of those and it was great meeting people and learning some cool stuff about the car from a guy that works at a Jaguar dealership. So, anyways, as always, I'm very tired. Be good, and good night.